Wedding videos for as low as 100,000 naira? Gusto got you covered. Call 08061344639 or 08064406274. Terms and conditions apply. Guys, welcome to Gusto Reactions once again. Thank you so much for always liking, sharing, subscribing, of course, telling your friends about what we do right at Gusto TV. Big Lala is very much in the building uh, today. Big Lala today, no, not Lala Daddy. Yeah. Okay, Big Lala, Big Lala is, is fine in today. the building. You know you can't be telling me the what I will I will tell you, I, I don't tell you what I want you to call me. Okay, Big Lala uh, is right here uh, today. And of course, we've got uh, one person who uh, has been there, you know, uh, done that and uh, he's still doing, David O, and another person who uh, has uh, been there, uh, done... Slightly done that. that yeah, and well, of course, really uh, done that. It's, yeah, well... Yeah, he's, he's trying to do that. He's trying to do that well. Yeah, and uh, of course we know David Oteli Billion Gang Medi. Now Medi is one artist you listen to very special on David's ABT hour, mm -hmm. and the thing that comes to your head for nah, this is signature Medi. Of course, of course. Looking at the additional credits on the song on Spotify and everything, it showed clearly that. You know, uh, Medi is, you know, was a songwriter on mm -hmm. that particular one, mm -hmm. uh, very special, one of my favorite songs, you know, favorite songs of, on, the, album. You know, of the album. Yes. And of course, uh, we expected that when Medi, you know, had this joint venture with David, it was announced and everything, everything would pick up. Mm -hmm. But Big Lala, it seems we are still at that stage of, you know, the early days of when this guy joined David, mm -hmm. nothing is happening. For next time, I mean, we can understand Dendi and maybe Leah, but for a Medi, should Medi actually pause his career for a David contract? Well, well, I don't, I don't think he should. I don't think he should. And then I think a lot of people may have misunderstood exactly what the relationship is with uh, Medi and DMW. Mm. And um, I mean, there's news currently that yeah. oh, they split and blah blah. But, but podcast, actually, yeah. watching that video. He didn't actually say anything like that that something has split it, mm. it was basically just saying oh it's more of a joint venture agreement mm -hmm. it's uh his his label confirmed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh slash dmw what that means is oh it's confirmed entertainment will be whatever it's called mm. but we are going to be fronting as dmw okay. that's what it basically is we are going to be using the platform of dmw what's the dynamics of that this is it's come out to say it like this but what it is 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 what a lot of people do in the industry dmw have been known to do it their perusi at the start of his career was meant to be a joint venture between lazy boy the, that guy lazy boy mm -hmm. and dmw until they mm -hmm. try to change the whole thing you get um several other people have been like that now Mali's malia music wants something similar there's yeah. always even YBNL, at one point, mm. there are rumors, or I don't know whether they're facts, that Adekule mm. Gold, while he was on a YBNL, was actually a joint venture. He had someone else who was a sponsor, sponsor. of his, his car. I mean, Corey Bello and Maven. Yeah, Corey Bello and Maven and things mm -hmm. like that. So, officially and unofficially, a lot of artists do this with the big labels, joint venture. Um, the same way, even at Maven, mm. there's the Prince's label. Yeah. Who was, I mean, clearly fronting with Maven, but mm -hmm. we know them to be that they are Johnson, Johnson uh, record, World, yeah. Johnson World yeah. Records, or whatever it's called. Yeah. So I, I think, yeah, I think it's something that is very rampant in the industry, and it, uh, maybe perhaps it works for a lot of artists. I mean, using people's platform to actually get to a certain level. So uh, that's well, exactly what it so is. So, like you said, um, this works for a lot of artists. You mm -hmm. know um you don't think it should be working for media as well is it working for me of, of course it should be working for me deep but the problem with that is if it's a joint venture that means dmw are not under any sort of obligation to necessarily fund medi or his career you get they then it's not signed to them it's more of a partnership more mm. of a oh uh, let me join body with you now so that at least if i go say the nursing i'll be confirmed DMW. dmw and things like that but there's personal relationship in work that they do. Mehdi writes songs for uh, David, um, as, you, as you rightly mentioned, no command shop, very special, right? That's typical Mehdi. But what help, what the advantage he gets from rolling with that is when he drops his own content, you see that Mehdi under DMW, 
before yeah. they see oh maybe confirm records then end up so that's yeah. the positive that he gets from it that what do you think he has used that platform really really well no it's so far so far i mm -hmm. think for the, the, the rolling out of the first single after the remix of that song that i did yeah. yes that went well but it goes beyond that we know that things have changed in the industry you need to be consistent you need to drop songs uh, mm -hmm. every now and then and yeah, mm -hmm. this EP that he dropped. Yeah, so the Showboy EP has a uh, Confirm Entertainment, mm -hmm. BMW, and of course, RTBG. you know, uh, you know, Teddy BG. Yeah, uh, it has Peruzzi. It's got David on yeah. that on mm -hmm. this one. It's mm -hmm. got it's got David on two songs, two songs out yeah. of seven songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are the perks of you know being with uh, yes. you know, a DMW, BMW, yeah. having to collaborate with a couple of the other yes, guys and everything course. for free. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but. 2022 seems to be that year for a lot of artists yeah. to take flights. Mm -hmm. Maybe has talked about, you know, in this interview, talked about P Square, yeah, what they did the to him, the issue with him and everything. And of course, confirmed that he has a joint venture with, uh, you know, uh, with, uh, with DMW. Yeah. Um, do you think a Maydi at this point in his career, you know, looking to get back up, looking to be up there and everything, mm -hmm. needs this kind of arrangement with DMW? Well, see, he needs any sort of arrangement because clearly by himself, there's no structure. He doesn't have any, there's no team in place for him. There's nothing to get things going for him because before uh, DMW picture, he, well, I don't know if it's by chance, that lower, was it lower, lower, the song before that was trending? Yeah, lower, lower, mm -hmm. was trending on TikTok. And then he thought, oh, well, I might have a hit here. Mm -hmm. And then they watched, released the song ASAP. Mm -hmm. And then the video came into the picture, they released a the remix. Mm -hmm. That was something good, right? After that, did they now take advantage? They oh, tried man. to with the EP, but it didn't work out. It's not going to work out uh, uh, immediately. And he said on this interview that right now he's not watching anybody. That there's a there's a time for everybody. Of course, there's a time for everybody, but there may never be a time for some people, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not. He's made it past this. He's been around, yeah. He's been around, yeah. He's been around for a long time. He's made it past it at the moment. Never say never. People are making comebacks. What do you think uh, no, I don't think he has. I think he's just missed. Has anyone in his time frame made a comeback recently? Lukash. Mm. I, I think he was even before Lukash time. Yeah, he was before Lukash. People, people in his own, people like Sean. Shop my money. Yeah, was in two thousand and uh, you know, like way, way, way back. Yeah, and, and everything. Sean Tizzo. Sean Tizzo yeah. tried even with massive funds and remix from Wyclef and. Uh, it's never entered. Yeah. Even though he had massive jams on there, but it's still yeah. never entered. It's, it's always had. People mm -hmm. who have been around for a long time. That's yeah, why people well. like, yeah, yeah. People like uh, Two Baba, they just maintain their status. They know that when they release music, they are not expecting to trend. They are mm -hmm. not expecting to hit number one in different places. They just expect to make music and enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe because he's been around for so long, um, music has not really paid him, paid him like that. Mm -hmm. doesn't. So he, he needs, he needs to have a thing. Okay, do I really want to make this music pay me? If you do, well, you have to put all the stops. I mean, mm -hmm. get someone who's going to actually. Put funds down. Mm. Do what people do to be at the top. So of should the he stick to DMW for it, that next it's, level? It's only a start now. It's, he hasn't. He has, okay. He's been there for close to two years. Close to two years, yeah. I mean, and nothing has really worked out. Nah, nothing. Really. And what are the options for him? There's really no options. Stay by himself. He was by himself before the DMW was in the picture. Now, well, how was that going for him? Mm. So there's really no harm with having a joint venture with DMW at the moment. Mm. Uh, I think he just needs to find someone else who is ready to sponsor that movement of confirm entertainment if you are a sponsor yeah. you're an investor yeah. are you going to invest in the music no sir why right i'll look for fresh young talents now the generation you that is past it no not like it's past the generation that likes me right now see they are they are busy with their lives exactly children and young everything born like <laughs> And maybe needs to appeal to the young audience yeah uh, it's very important because at them they want is now them they use all these Apple music and things. Nah. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard people from his from his era, it's hard for them to make a comeback. So yeah. Uh anyways, we actually do wish Midi, you know, all the very best as it continues uh, you know, that's you know, um career, you know, backup and everything. Music no easy for this industry. And of course, uh, we can attest to the fact, you know, that a lot of artists in Midi's era are long, long gone. You know, and they are nowhere to be found. We just hope that you know each artist trying to make a you know a comeback, maybe just make a crack or maybe just get to the top once again. We wish everyone all the very best. Let's have your thoughts on Lady and of course a DMW partnership with uh, David O. You know uh, the collaborations and everything. What exactly you know is this partnership all about? What exactly is this collaboration all about? Put your comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Please stay safe and God bless.